is very clear to me and has always been clear to me that sugar has been the backbone of the economy of Western Kenya. And for a long time now, we all recognize, we don't want to get into the details, that it is an industry that has been struggling. I was mentioning a little earlier to Governor Oparanya that if you actually look, not even going too far back, if you actually look at the coalition government and my government, a period now spanning almost 16 years, government has pumped in almost 20 to 25 billion shillings into the sugar sector, but with no meaningful results. And I think Uncle Moody hit the nail on the head when he said, let us also be honest that this money has been misused. It has not gone for its intended purposes. Because we also know, as again I was mentioning to them, of factories that have started later, that have spent much less, and are now today very profitable. I was citing the example of the factory that is in Kuala, that is now producing sugar, that is profitable, that is now looking to expand. I was mentioning the factory that was opened recently in Kilgoris, that is also viable, and they are looking to expand. Uh, he mentioned to me West Kenya also, that is also profitable. So th there is definitely something that we must address ourselves to that has happened to these 20 billion shillings. All right? It, it, it has gone somewhere. Because as Mwishimwe Watangula is saying, it's definitely not gone to the farmer. Because the farmer is still struggling. It definitely has not gone into the mills. Because the mills are still dilapidated. So where has it gone? And these are questions I believe that we must address ourselves to. Governor Oparanya, as the chair of the Lake Region, has been chairing a committee which they have been sitting, and I have with, with, with the Ministry of Agriculture. And they have been meeting to look at some of these in-depth issues so that we can have a very clear position as to exactly how we should move forward with regard to this sector. We have just agreed that we want to give them one month. And me, I have told the ministry clearly that they work together to give us a revival plan that works. Huh? A revival plan that works. Not to pump money into a bottomless pit, but a plan that can be agreed by all leaders, but a plan that works, right? So that we know that we have the regulations, as we're saying, in place, that even if resources are required, where are these resources going to be put, right? The only thing I will say that we will attempt to do between now and whenever the report is done, but we'll have to engage Treasury to see whether these resources are available. Again, is what Mwishmua Watangula said, is to see how we can at least assist farmers. Yeah? Uh, to get farmers' payments done. So that at least, even as we're waiting for the bigger report, Mwanainchi Mwenyewe, Haumi, as we're moving forward. So that's one thing that we will try and sit and work on together, even as we are waiting for the final for the final report.